Hello, today I'm gonna show you my next step in making a computer in Minecraft. I've built a working hard drive which can save three bits of information. I hope I'll be able to tell everything about it. I'll try as well as I can. <clears throat> so first, let me show you how big this thing is. And now, how it behaves. So here we have three lamps. First bit, second bit and third bit. Now let's save one three times. One, one, one. Now it will, now it returns like these arrows show. So if I wanted to save now, it will save again as S1. So let's now save zero. The one will turn off, yeah. And now let's save zero in three, leaving one and two. So we just send one, overwrite one with one. And zero. And this way we've turned off this one. So we have now saved 0, 1, 0. So now let's save 1, 0, 1. So 1. Zero, 1. Here we have format button. If we press it, the entire device will be set, will reset. So this is like formatting a hard drive, you delete all the data. So first, let me show you how this thing works. So here our signal goes here. This thing here just prevents signal to be sent when to be sent too often, so let's just ignore this because this isn't part of the hard drive, it's just block so you can s so you can send signal only once per 20 seconds and now, the signal goes through this cable and here we have the first bit so the signal goes here and switches this so the next signal will go there instead of there. But we're still tracking the first signal and it's going here, here. Here we tell if it's one or zero. And here we have some comparators. And here is our binary switch which saves the signal. Well, what was the main challenge of that was to not make it override, override data in a wrong way. Because the binary switch has a little problem, it will just react at every signal sent. So even if it, if it was saved one and we saved and we send one again, it would revert to zero, same with zeros. If we send zero, it would save one, and if we send zero again, then it would save zero. So, how exactly did I solve this problem? Um, let me show you, I used Comparator as a XOR gate. XOR gate works in a way that XOR gates have two inputs 
and one outfit. So when only one input is online, then the output sends a signal. If both inputs send a signal, the output doesn't send any signal, like we can see here. This is how XOR works. And this is what happens in these drives. Here we check if the signal is... We use XOR to check if the signal sent here is the same as signal already saved and just ignore the signal if it's the same, if it's different we overwrite it. Here the second signal thanks to this switching will go will not go here but will go to the second bit. The second bit works in exact same way. The second bit is just literally clone of the first bit. This way I can also expand it to any bit to any size I want. I can just clone this. So after saving data to bit two, it switches here again and the signal and the third signal will go to the bit 3. Bit 3 saves the signal in the same way, but it also resets the gate here and here. So the fourth signal we again try to overwrite from 1. Thanks this, thanks to all of this, we got this effect of saving here, later here, later here and later returning here while saving. So, thanks for watching. I hope you understand how this works.